Just a few short days ago, my friends, if you remember, we had a major earthquake in Alaska that caused a little tsunami, so it kind of scared some people in the U.S., but for those of you that follow earthquakes and seismic activity, we've had another major, major earthquake. You can see right here, magnitude 7.0, 15 kilometers north-northeast of Greece. I'm saying Greece because I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. This is technically taking place in Turkey. My friends, we have a tsunami. We have many people missing. We have damaged buildings, a very serious situation going on as of right now. I was in the process of making a weather video about the disturbance going on down in the Central American region. We have another possible hurricane forming, but now we have this taking over attention. Yes, this is near Turkey, and you can see here just the outpouring of articles going on here. Major tsunami, major earthquake, many people missing. Unfortunately, they do not have any idea how many people are missing or what's going on at this point. There's footage coming in left and right. 1.7 million views of this video, this water tearing through this city within Turkey. As we can see here with the geography of where this earthquake took place, 21 kilometers in depth, not very deep at all, so a very strong shallow earthquake. Now we know why this caused a tsunami. There was video and footage of the water receding. Just a very sad, sad situation going on, no matter where in the world something like this takes place. But just look at the geography of this place. This earthquake took place right here. So 7.0 earthquake, very shallow. Water was receding from all of these coastlines here, which means one thing. We know that tsunami was coming, and it is still going on and will go on for a few more hours. That's how these things work. You can see there's people standing on the shore of this shoreline here, obviously, and the water, look at all the mud and stuff and the boats just sitting on dirt. The water has completely receded from this coastline right here, and that is when the tsunami came shortly after, and these people are just standing there watching it. That is the or last thing you should be doing in that situation. But then again, after a major earthquake devastates the area I live in, I don't know exactly what I'd be doing at that time, so I can't really judge at this point. All we could do here is relay the info and I'm sure you will see many many other posts on this in fact Dutch Sense will be all over this I'm sure I suggest highly suggest you go watch him and learn what you need to learn about earthquakes it's very important I do this as a little bit of a help just to throw the info out there this man dissects this stuff like it's his job literally really quick I just want to show you the chart magnitude 7.0 quake northeast of Greece they're calling it this is a turkey earthquake if I refresh this page obviously this number will go up as you can see right there this is a U.S.-based website, a USGS site, so not really something that the U.S. measures as far as details, but we can be assured there are plenty of websites to visit and plenty of stuff on Twitter to get information on this situation, this horrible situation, and I will be back with any updates necessary, and I'll be covering the storm down in Central America. Yes, we have another possible hurricane coming, my friends. Everyone stay safe. It is now 1018 a.m. on October 30th, one day before Halloween. Thank you all so much. I will talk to you soon. Be safe. Bye-bye.